After all the fever of publicity, the acres of newsprint, the fashion notes, and the jewel robberies, the great day approaches at last when Grace Kelly of Philadelphia, USA, will become the bride of Rainier, Prince of Monaco. Wedding gifts have come from all over the world. Gifts in gold and silver, jewelry and fine porcelain. Presents from kings and queens, presidents and commoners, movie magnets and millionaires. A pile of riches which look as though Aladdin had rubbed his lamp to furnish this fairy tale wedding. At the Opera House, Monegasque see Grace at her first public event as Rainier's wife. But she's still only half a princess. The civil marriage has been held privately, but the solemn cathedral ceremony is still to come. On the wedding day, the Mediterranean sun shines as brilliantly as anyone could wish when Grace arrives on her father's arm, past guards of honor from the visiting British, French, Italian, and American warships. A few minutes later, the bridegroom arrives. Now, almost for the first time in months, the blare of publicity is silenced in the beauty and dignity of the nuptial mass. waits at the altar, and the bridegroom comes forward to join her. A quick smile from the prince, and the ceremony is due to begin. The Bishop of Monaco conducts the marriage service. Grâce Patricia, voulez-vous prendre pour légitime époux Régnier, Louis, Henri, Maxence, Bertrand, ici présent, selon le rite de notre mère, la Sainte Église. Ego conjungum vos in matrimonium, in nomine patris, et filii, et spiritus santi. Amen. Now comes the moment for the exchanging of rings. The bishop hands one to the bridegroom, who is a little nervous. Grace helps him put it on. Mr. and Mrs. Kelly watch as the young couple kneel to pray before receiving Holy Communion. Wedding is over, and Prince Rainier's bride is no longer Grace Kelly, but Her Serene Highness Princess Grace of Monaco. The nervous tension of the last few days begins to relax as the prince and princess leave the cathedral to greet their cheering people. An open Rolls Royce waits to drive them on a tour through the streets of Monte Carlo, as handsome a couple as any teller of fairy tales could have described. The prince in his dark uniform with the shining epaulets, and the princess in her ivory gown with its 300 yards of lace and 150 yards of silk. So a Hollywood star becomes a princess in a setting even Hollywood could scarcely have surpassed. Two royal visitors from Monaco brighten up the White House. President Eisenhower is host to Princess Grace and Prince Rainier for a half hour of conversation. Her Serene Highness, as beautiful as ever, is expecting a baby in February. So when newsmen meet the couple outside, their questioning runs to the subject of parenthood. This is a delicate question, and perhaps it has been asked and answered by you before, but do you have any choices uh, to the uh, sex of the child that you're expecting? No, I don't think so. I would be very happy with either boy or girl. It makes no difference to us. Well, how do you feel, Bert? Well, a boy would be very nice for, for the first child, but it, it really makes no difference. We, we're just like a nice, healthy baby. Monaco has had quite a few great days recently, and now it's celebrating another. Up the steps of the ornate cathedral of Monaco walk Prince Ranier and Princess Grace for the christening of the heiress to the throne of the pocket Mediterranean state, six weeks old Princess Caroline. Ten-year-old Margaret Davis of Philadelphia, on the right, Princess Grace's niece, Stan's godmother, and Hungarian-born Prince George Festetich, is godfather. Carolina, 
Ego te baptizo in nomine Patris et Filii et Spiritus Sancti. Prince et Princesse de Monaco. The baby princess wears the organdy dress in which her father was christened nearly 34 years ago in this same cathedral. A thousand guests make up the congregation, but that's nothing to the crowds of monogasts who gather outside the palace for a glimpse of their newly christened Princess Caroline. The Papal Guard is on parade for the arrival of Prince Renier and Princess Grace of Monaco, who are paying an official visit to Pope Pius XII. When His Holiness grants audience to a head of state, even of such tiny a state as Monaco, the ceremonial is long and formal. On this occasion, it lasts more than two hours. Princess Grace wears the traditional black gown. On the prince's uniform is the golden spur, the oldest of all papal awards, bestowed on him this morning. At the end of the audience, the Pope gives his blessing to the royal couple. As they take their leave, the royal visitors hand to the Pope a gold medal specially minted by the French jeweller Cartier. They walk in procession through the palace, past the Switzers of the papal bodyguard, who salute one of the smallest but oldest of the Catholic states of the world. In a coach befitting the 20th century, royalty arrives on the Times Square scene. Blasé New Yorkers captivated by Princess Grace and Prince Renier of Monaco. Just after they became engaged in January 56, they were honor guests at the Imperial Ball. So this is a repeat appearance, a top social event of Manhattan's winter season. Leaders of cafe society, business and government attend. And on the dance floor, the crush is so great, so eager are all to get close to the handsome pair that someone steps on the toe of the princess. She leaves the dance floor, as perhaps many of us would have done, or have done, under similar circumstances. But soon she returns for the drawing of grand prizes for lucky ticket holders. Proceeds tonight go to the hospitalized veteran service of the Musicians' Emergency Fund. And as Princess Grace reaches into the drum for a winner, the biggest winner is charity. And New York does its share. In the advanced section of the royal delegation from Monaco, Prince Renier III and his daughter Caroline arrive at New York's International Airport. They are en route to visit Caroline's grandmother, aunts and uncles in Philadelphia. As some families do, this one traveled in two planes. A later one brings Her Serene Highness Princess Grace and five-year-old Prince Albert, heir to the throne of the little principality. The visit to the former Grace Kelly's hometown begins a six-week stay in the United States. And it also marks the seventh anniversary of the storybook marriage of the lovely screen star and her prince.